Feel the waves cut through me. 自由席は1号車から6号車までと後ろは本日変更となっており15号車16号。while since I did like an update I've been taking like small clips here and there but haven't really spoken to you guys so here I am um me and my boyfriend are in Kyoto and we came yesterday from Osaka we stayed in Osaka for four days and we're staying in Kyoto for four days as well it's our second day um, and I did some shopping so I wanted to show you guys what I've bought so first up we were walking around Kyoto and we found this shop it was like um, they had a lot of random things like clothing um, food stationery like it was like an everything store so we went in and surprisingly they had a lot of gluten-free food vegan food all of those like kind of health food and i bought a gluten-free udon noodles and it says rice udon so they don't have any like wheat flour in it which is great like you can't find these in australia um there's lots of like gluten-free pasta there but um, J um japan has a lot of like udon noodles and ramen noodles, like gluten-free. So it's really fun. Um, so yeah, that's what one thing I bought. I bought this soup. Usually these kind of ready-made soups have a lot of nasty things in them, but I checked the ingredients and it's literally all whole foods. I also... Oh yeah, and in that same shop, I found, so these are turtlenecks, but they are 100% cotton. Can you believe that? I got so excited because I wanted to wear like turtlenecks and like knitwear, but obviously if I wear those kind of material, it makes me really itchy and I can't I can't believe I found these this type of clothing in it says cotton 100% so I bought the green and the black they had other colors as well but I thought I'd go with these two so if anyone is in Kyoto or is planning to come to uh, Kyoto anytime soon. This is the name of the shop. It's called Mumo Kuteki. And in Osaka, I found this um, pop-up shop in the station and they were selling gluten-free cookies. And I bought this one. It says guilt-free rice cookie and it says gluten-free and it says it's free of wheat, dairy, egg, white sugar, like, um, and all those like chemical stuff. So I went and bought this and it was really good. So I went back the next day and bought three flavors. 
one is um, brown rice flavor. It said this one was the number one um, popular product. And this one is Earl Grey. And this one is Coco. So excited to try them. It's this is the name of the shop, AG Cafe. Back in Australia, I got featured in a magazine called Take Five. Here's me on the front page. Um, my sister took this for me because I really wanted to show you guys. So my mom arrived. This is my grandma, by the way. But my mom arrived. Um, in Japan a few days ago, so me, my mom, and my grandma, we all headed to this health shop that we found, and um, it was pretty hard to find gluten-free, dairy-free like options in like the normal supermarkets. So we, so we bought heaps of stuff from here, like gluten-free soy sauce. And I found this um, date syrup and I'd never seen this in Australia so I bought one straight away um, and they had snacks and this pistachio biscuit was so good and they had other range of snacks and and bread and a whole range of things um, they were all gluten free um, some were dairy free and some were refined sugar free so I made sure they ticked all my dietary requirements that night my sister arrived in Japan so we all went to pick her up it also had been three years since she last saw grandma so um, they seemed so happy to see each other and it was so sweet <laughs> head to our other grandparents place that night so we spent some time at the airport with our grandma from Tokyo and then we headed to see our other grandparents so we had our mini ekiben which was so yum Today is my eight months anniversary um, of doing TSW. My skin is doing absolutely great and I'm so happy. Um, I've been in Japan for about two weeks now, two and a, two and a half maybe, um, but my skin's doing really well today especially can you see how i've got clear skin just under my eyes i do have um some little flakes around my eyebrows and my like around my mouth and my neck but i'm just so happy with where i am right now um yeah and I got new glasses yesterday. One of the reasons why my skin started to improve was because I stopped scratching during the night and this has been the most difficult thing to um, figure out because I would scratch myself so much during the night and wake up with weepy skin and I would like regret it so much. And yeah, like I just, it was, it just didn't feel great at all. Yes, I'll show you how my skin looks like. This is how 
it's hard to show you guys. This is how my arms look like. They get really itchy, they are dry, and they have lots of small flakes on them. And they get really itchy, so I started um, keeping these tubular bandages during the day as well. I do them every night, but I started doing them during the day, and just like being covered stops me from scratching. Um, so it's been really helpful and it helps that I'm in Japan right now because it's getting colder and colder each day um, and yeah my neck it doesn't hurt at the moment actually this bit here uh, the crack hurts a little bit but this area gets so itchy still so and when it gets itchy i just can't control myself it just gets crazy itchy so that's why i have lots of scabs here i scratched a bit a few days ago and now they've scabbed up and there they are on the way to healing and my stomach has been a little bit um it's got my stomach's got a little patch of TSW now. It used to not have anything, but it's come up a little bit. And my back is still clear, but yeah, my stomach has patches and it's dry. My legs are doing okay, um, especially like the front side. But the back of my knees are a bit scabby. Yeah, so, okay, so during this past month, I went through a flare and I finally got out of it, which feels great. Um, I've been going out to eat um, in Japan and it's, it feels great to be out and about again. And also in Japan, everyone's wearing a mask and some people wear hat as well. So literally, like, you, the only thing you can see are your eyes. So that's been really helpful. And my sleep has improved so much. I stopped drinking the supplements I used to take to get quality sleep. I actually didn't even get good sleep while I was while I used to drink them. I actually have been forgetting to drink them recently and I've been sleeping so well and that is because of my gloves, the rubber gloves. Actually they're not rubber because I'm allergic to latex so I got the non-latex ones but the dishwashing gloves I think and then that's when I realized the reason why I couldn't sleep is because I was feeling so scared and worried about what damage I could cause during the night like that feeling was what was stopping me from a good sleep and that's what I realized since I've been doing my gloves so that's been a big realization so knowing that I cannot physically damage myself with those gloves on just like felt so safe and peaceful and I'm, I'm able to just like just naturally fall asleep and have a really good quality sleep again so I think that really contributed to the healing as well so yeah that's my update um if you have any questions drop them down below i'll be in japan for another two three months so you will see content from japan okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye